Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Bright. This is another epic, amazing, awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority. And on this episode, guess what we have here? We have the gaming keyboard, IE Geek 87 Keys Clicky Mechanical Keyboard with Blue Switch LED Backlit Anti-Ghosting USB Wired Mechanical uh, Feeling Ergonomic Design Detachable Palm Rest for PC, Mac, Gamer, Office, Home. And it's $29.99. Alright, so, what we're going to do here with this, um, we're going to open this up and test it out today. And normally, these are very expensive, you know, for good mechanical gaming keyboards. You're going to pay, you know, in the stores and stuff, I've seen like a hundred or more dollars uh, to get one of these. So, for thirty some dollars, now, I, I should, when we test this out, I should use the radiation tester on it and see how much radiation is coming off the keyboard because what I've found is that some devices that light up like this, sometimes they put off a lot of uh, harmful radiation. So, um, and I'm not kidding you, I, I found out that like a gaming mouse was putting off uh, as much or more radiation than my cell phone when it was in use. So that's really dangerous, okay, it was making my hand hurt. So I just swapped it out for just a regular standard mouse uh, to get away from that. So hopefully this um, doesn't have those issues. And hopefully it feels good, works good, you know, has all the good features of a, of a gaming keyboard. Um, let's get a picture of it here. Okay. Um, I gotta get it away from some of this other stuff. We got too much stuff around for a picture of the box. Okay, I don't know how big the actual keyboard is gonna be. It looks like it has everything except the number pad. For those of you that care. Um, personally, I find the number pad handy. When I was a kid in school, um, the number pad to me was just a pain in the butt. It was something I didn't want to learn how to use. But now, um, it's great for, you know, a lot of things when you really want to type fast. And especially when you don't want someone to see what you're typing. Um, number pad is great. So, let's get all this out of here. It comes boxed very well. Uh, packaged, boxed, whatever you want to call it. Let's get a nice little picture of the packaging here. Okay. And we got some instructions for some reason and I mean maybe it's programmable I don't know we're gonna find out this should make a great gift I mean I don't know if I want to keep this um, or give it away as a gift because I am you know giving away gifts is what I love to do with this stuff and so we're gonna see um, what we what this turns out to be now yes these are very clicky buttons indeed um, so let's uh, take these off. Oh yeah, if you like the sound of clicking buttons, this this is for you. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, get the packaging away here and get some pictures of just the. Whoa, what's this? Something else. And there's this. And I don't know what they're for. Okay, so this goes on the bottom of the keyboard. To give your palms something to rest against. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll get pictures of all this. So let's get rid of packaging for a moment. And we'll get rid of this, you know. And uh, so anyway, um, there's that and this. Okay, and this, and we'll just get a picture here. Okay, so let's try this out a little bit. I'm just... Okay, so there isn't much um, feedback on the keys as far as um, they don't push back very much. The strings are really light. So, if I just rest my fingers on this, um, I'm going to be pushing at least one key down. Okay, not, you know, pushing my hands up very much. Um, the space bar here has a little symbol that's like sound, and that's what you get with the clicks. Okay, so should we plug this in and see what happens? I think so. Let's uh, untwist the uh, USB cable here and plug it in and see. It's all supposed to light up and look amazing. So. We're going to give this uh, one amp of power, and it disappears. 
that you can't just give this thing power to, uh, to get the lights to come on, or I need to give it more power. Let's see, how much power does this thing draw? We'll give it, uh, I've got another, another device here that will give us as much power as we should need. And we'll plug it into this guy. And it says that we are not drawing any power whatsoever. So I guess we need to plug this into a computer and see if that resolves uh, the situation or not. Technically, I could plug it into my phone. Um, I have an adapter for that. And that's probably the best way to test this, because then I don't have to take it in the house and go to the computer or anything like that. So, I will be right back, okay? I'm just going to go get um, an adapter for my phone. And I don't know what this is for. I'd have to read the directions or something. But, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to get an adapter for my phone, and we'll see if this gaming keyboard will light up. All right? what happens. Oh, it's happening. It's lighting up. All of the keys on the keyboard are lighting up. It's like it's booting, almost. Now, I don't know... Okay, there we go. Now it's on. Now we can get a good picture of it here. It was doing some sort of weird pattern on there, and now uh, the pattern's gone, so... There's like these extra buttons or something. There's PS, I don't know if that's page select or what, print screen or something. Uh, SL and just, yeah, this keyboard's got a wild appearance to it. So let's go ahead and try to use it. Let's go uh, text messaging here and um, send a message. And just, come on. Okay, I, as long as I have a keyboard to plug in, it's not gonna let me, uh, Okay. I am reviewing a gaming PC. Bugs or something on my hand. Okay. Testing it on my phone. So what I noticed with the keyboard compared to texting directly on the phone is that um, when you are uh, oh, what did I do? when you're texting on uh, your phone, you usually don't I make as many mistakes as you're typing slower. Whereas I notice when I'm typing on the keyboard on the smartphone, I actually make more mistakes that have backspace and correct uh, because I'm just typing so fast. And that might actually possibly, you know, slow you down. Now, it does have a function key, you know, up here there's function keys like uh, music, uh, volume up and down, F4, F5, uh, it's like there's a back, forward, play, pause, stop, home. It's a bunch of different stuff here. And it appears that the uh, Windows key is what you have to hold down in order to use those functions. Although I'm not entirely sure. Um, I have to read the directions. I can try it, but last time, okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, send my message. No, I didn't send, so I guess I have to touch the phone. Okay, great. So, um, the question is, what do these buttons do? So I'm going to try on the phone just to see if it will happen. So I'm going to, I'm holding down the, what I think is the function key, and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Of course, if I just hit the function key alone, it brings up the home thing on my phone. So I'm thinking it might be somewhere my phone just doesn't know how to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I don't see a... There's a right... Oh, here's function. Okay, I found a function. So hold on, function. Volume down. Oh, it's working. Volume up. Volume down. Okay, uh, internet. That does the same thing. Turns volume up. Okay. How about backwards, forwards? I'd probably work on the music. Going to music and like hit uh, function backwards forwards. How about play pause? That works. Okay, play pause works. Stop. Stop works. Uh, home. And then um, I don't know what this one does. 
Oh wow, it's like an email button or something. Okay. And then we've got uh, F11, I don't know what it does. F12 does something else. And it's, oh, disconnect connect network. So if for some reason your computer you want it to, I better get reconnect. If you want it to disconnect from the internet, there's a button for that. Um, and then I don't know what SL does. It's a function, so function SL. Okay, so function SL turns the lights on and off. So see now the phone the lights are off. Hit them again, lights come back on. You're doing that whole weird um, pattern again because I left them off too long or something. Which I don't like the pattern when it first turns on. I wish it would just light up instantly. Um, I don't know if there's a button that does that. And then there's these little blue buttons down in here for like caps lock and stuff. And the problem with those buttons is that um, they're way back in the keyboard, so I can't see them here. I can see the reflection of them on the keys, but I can't actually see them uh, from here. So, anyways, that's the keyboard. And if I sit on a little palm or your thing here, rest, whatever. Um, it does work nice. Again, I don't know what this tool is for. Oh, this is to take the keys off. That's what it's for. So you put this um, over a key. Let's disconnect it from the phone. Okay, so in theory, you take this and put it over a key. And you pull your key out. Like that. Okay, and then we want to put the key back on. You just take it and put it on here. And push it down and put it back on again. So, yeah, those are on there good. Okay, so that's what this is for. This is to take the keys off if for some reason you want to switch them around or clean them or something. Um, and you can tell I don't know a lot about gaming keyboards. But, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Just to let you please click the link in the description video. And you're going to our Patreon. And check out www.christianports.com. Alright.